I've got magic fingers. Tip top. Appreciate it. Why, hello. Could steal you at your service. Nice to see a friendly face. Too few of us chance the voyage south. I can tell that you're new to the dead fire. Maybe you're still getting your bearings? Some of my herbs can help with seasickness or worse afflictions. It's nothing personal. You just have that taking everything in look about you. Give it time, it'll pass. Money is the obvious answer, but I don't think that's what you're after. Yes, I'm an herbalist, but I also pride myself as a florist. I think the city liked the idea of putting a flower shop somewhere visible. It's ostentatious, really. Probably the same reason why we have a magic shop next door. Pariki's Overlook is a great big splash of culture and innovation, there to show travelers that the Juana are ready for the world at large. I've noticed you seem to be frequently at odds with others in your order. Some of my brethren don't understand why I gotta do what I do. But I'm not beholden to them. I can certainly sympathize. Auspicious apples. Let's you see three seconds into the future. Mm. I got nowhere else to turn. Stonehill is going to kill me! Don't drag me into your mess, Bertenno. Not again! Then you leave me no choice. I'm sorry. Hey, come back with that! Madiko! Shop Imp, greetings! something it's not hostile it's just in is imp and is sad Vasina spends too much time away from shop leaving me to fend for self 
This bad enough master won't let me leave, stupid shop! Eh, she hates her work, hates Archimir, hates me. Reason enough. Imp's complicated. Kith think we have two big emotions, angry and happy. But Kith can't smell imp spray. Jovial spray, melancholy spray, creative spray, imp spray all over everything. Go on, I don't care. Fortune for a pun, good sir. Salutations. Do you wish to hear your fortune? I don't know what you expect me to do about that. Apologies. But thank you for sharing all the same. I got on Archimere's bad side and didn't exactly survive the experience. I'm not really supposed to chat with customers. How about you get yourself over to the Animansis Tower in the Sacred Stair then? No need to gawk at me. Sure, all the time. The Queen is too pleased at having an Archmage at her disposal to care. I can't blame her. The Juana have got it rough. We all need coin in the end. I see an island. Its shores are pitted, wreathed in fire. But you are bound to go there. Someone awaits you. A man, I think. An old friend. I can see no more. Unless you give me another pyre. I just told you an accurate fortune. You'll be thanking me when it comes true. Oh, Ifrin, you were right. I can't believe I ever doubted you. That's what you'll say. Guaranteed. <laughs> and I want my manhood back. It's not under here, believe me. No refunds. Archimere's policy, not mine. I see a house. Four walls, a ceiling, a floor. All wood. If you sleep there four nights straight, your one true love will pass by in the street. Be quick, before the bard in red steals her away.
You need me. I got this. You need me, don't you? I'm, oh, that's easy. My body is... Yours. My... Fine, but what's my motivation? Come take a look at this. That flaccid batso. Imp, you had none of that, huh? That's what I thought. What am I going to do? Think, Fasina. My postenago of a... of a lover stole Rokawa's fingers. The master will kill me if I don't get them back. He must have wanted to raise some fast coin. 
Harkamir will flame me alive over those damned gloves. Is it strange? I don't know. Go consult Arkhamir's grimoire if you're that curious. Not that it's any of your business, but Berteno used to spend a lot of late nights here. I got into the Construct's guts and marked off Berteno as a safe visitor so they would not attack him. And before you ask, no, I will never do this again. He said that he's in debt to a Rautayan captain by the name of Hamuto Stonehill. By all accounts, a deadly serious man. You do not know Arkamir, do you? He is as cheap as a Wodican clerk. Whatever he loses from those gloves, he will take out on me. Somehow. You will? If you are expecting some payment or reward, I do need to keep this under wraps. If there's a burden on your conscience, then I am not opposed to you offloading it on my behalf. I, I do not know where Berteno fences his goods, but he mentioned an appointment at the Brass Citadel docks. Hamuto Stonehill must be as dangerous as he sounds, or else Berteno wouldn't be so panicked. Berteno Stolrock, suddenly my whole existence revolves around these gloves. Incredible. Go on then. I am the apprentice of He of Many Colors. That's plain old Arkamir to you. What few spells I know have names like Arkamir's Dripping Scourge or Arkamir's Malevolent Codpiece. He made me conjure a household staff of imps. Horrible, chittering things. I think it's because he knows I hate them. Ah, he makes me call him by the titles he's earned in his long career. I can also call him by the titles I've made up since the start of my apprenticeship. To me, he's the bringer of foul wind, the teeth of suckling imps, and the herald of dirty slippers. I hate him from horn to hoof. More than once I've caught him smearing feces all over our selection of cloaks. Not that this should dissuade you from buying one. No. We are talking about the same little flying stinker? Maybe I ought to be nicer to the little... thing. We both hate Arkamir, so we have that much in common. I was born ready. I found mm, sounds kinky. Knock knock. You're very Spice? You spice?
I've got magic fingers. You're very welcome. I see no gloves. dreamed of this place I've got this the season of harvest is here interfere with prioritized business. Kawana culture is in business. Any drudge? What you do here? My pet groundwalk filth. What you do here, huh? Why you trouble Yellow Eye 3? Ugly one speaks in confident tone. Not burglar, then. Stay out of Yellow Eye 3's way and break nothing, or Master hears of it. Sit down and wait. Could be hours, days, weeks, years. <laughs> you could die here is on the lowest level, southeast corner, sealed up like dirty secret. Burglars tried to open, but they turned into food. That all you want to know? Boring. 
found near vault. Keep safe for master. Too shiny to leave lying around. Ah! Would rather bite off own horns than let go of Farble. No, Master would cast Archimere's Dripping Bowels on Yellow Eye 3. Again. What you do here? My pet ground ugly one. Stay out of Yellow Eye 3's way. And br first Yellow Eye died. Second Yellow Eye died. Now he's third. Master gave Yellow Eye a number, so he would remember which one he was. Four, five, six. It's all the same to this Yellow Eye. One died asking idiot questions. Two died stealing baubles. Three is more careful. Three watches out for kabooms. Pretty crystal. Protect you forever. Go on. Yellow Eye 3 has time for Smelly Groundwalker. Is on the lowest level. So sit down and wait. That all you want to know? Found near vault. Ah! Would rather bite off own horns than let go of Bauble. No. Master would... I've got magic fingers. Your You need- I got this. Thank you. 
I've got magic fingers. Your... Yes? Of course. Something stronger. Resist me. That's not very helpful. Moe's exit on How's this one go again? And 
flourish. <laughs> Lava, this is beautiful. to die. They can't afford another loss. Pretend you did. This is futile. Notice that, right? <laughs> That's not very helpful. <laughs> doing the job. <sighs> Only because I like it. Yeah? What do you <laughs> need? It's our little secret.
What do you need? Intruder! Ground me in the Master Sanctum! Ski! Ski! Shows what you know, eh? Master doesn't have friends. Follow me, eh? Take you outside. Stay close and not get hurt. Ground meat skin beast wants to fight, eh? Haven't seen any sports since Master released a cat on second floor. Take a look. I was born ready. Good thinking. Sure. Just keep this our little secret. Intruder! Ground me in the Master Sanctum! Sk Accept your tribute. You need me. Intruder! Don't you? Ground me in the Master Sanctum! Ski! Ski! Ah, is ground meat Archimir? Master gave us a passphrase. You repeat now! That passphrase, all right. Fine, but what's my mo- You need to get my sneak on. Master need books, not even taste good.
keeping an eye out. Butler on second floor lounge trying to eat it again. The master will be displeased. I've got match. No need. Spy? New spies? Take a look. No need to think. I've got magic finger. No need. I was bo sure. Was fine, but what's my motivation? What's that over there?
You think he swims in it? Let's, I got this. That's easy. I'm always your thing. I've got magic fingers. I've got magic fingers. Knock, knock. What did I tell you? I've got magic fingers. Tips are all appreciated. I've got magic fingers. I'm always willing. My sure thing. Didn't see anything. The cost of enjoying the bathhouse's unique offering is 1,000 copper per session. A prudent question. The bathwaters are infused with hand-refined luminous adra, which promotes a holistic balance of the humors. Because of luminous adra's remarkable qualities, it is also a significant investment to both supply and maintain. Ganor may tell you more if you're curious. He is something of an amateur alchemist. In addition to being a businessman of remarkable skill and insight, would you care to enjoy the bath's offerings? The price is one.
I see you brought your pain, but you need come to ease it. Pity. It eases my pain. More than that is an awful long yarn, and they entered lickly. I fecked in the broken stone war some two centuries gone by now. I let the wits of a deer for the eastern reach. I claimed to seek to protect our colonists, but in truth, I sucked the glory of battle. Glory were need to be had. Truth be dealt, I hold luckier than most. The Orleans or air glan fath walled blades that sheaved spirit as easily as flesh. Some of mine fellows were slaughtered body and soul. Uh, come again? I, I don't quite follow your meaning. Aye, twas. Half times when I sleep, I behold yet their blank eyes, gawning at nothing. One weird of the will of the gods one. A farmer near a boot's log home invited the soldiers for dinner. Twas hearst, and the crop was rowdy. She and her man devised us a broar and gusty feast. Deer pie and salmon, a stew of cabbage, carrots, and potatoes, squash roasted with pine nuts, and the sweetest honey bread I ever tasted. The glan fathens riled the animals. By then we caught the trick. So the captain bade the farmer's family stay within. We skipped into the nicht, approached the thicked swine, and the arrows began to fall. Ah, the shelter folk, hunters and campers bred, aimed their arrows true, and two of us fell immediately. The Orleans rashed us then, small and shady visible only by the violet flames that lit their blades. We drank it that firm in blood, both sides. In the end, only I remained, standing in the farmhouse door, holding mine innards in, waiting for another coxfeather to come and finish the work. I only lived because of that farmer. She sewed me up, fed me till I had health enough to stand. She said she out me, but... I think we both can't that we brought to the trouble upon them with our presence. The raiders had been too many a slicht at simple firm house. The pine bothered me little in my youth. I fought you. I set flams to black trees. I took arms again, the uprising at New Dunreed. After that, little welcome remained me in the new Duke's Kintra, and I travelled northward. Yet with age, the old wounds show new death. By my count, I've suffered eighteen arrows and half again as many stabbings. That I yet live testifies to either my stubbornness or that of the gods. I ranged for years seeking a balm for the growing pine. Drink helped for a time. Sveve for another. Now only these baths, infused with Adra, dull the agony. Nay, nee, life is the pallid nights alone to tack. Lest there's anything you need, please, let me to mine water. Udina I am, but I can't know Remaro, least none that had ne returned to the wheel. I cannot speak to your letter. Maybe it weren't meant for you. Then maybe you should have brought your friend with you. Welcome, welcome. I am Ganor, owner and proprietor of the Luminous Bathhouse. 
If there's any way I might make your visit more comfortable, you need only ask. Of course you would. Just speak with a steward near the stairs. He will make certain you are treated well. My friend, you're a... It's about time I went my own way. You went here with me feeling all maroon-like. My fine, but what's my motivation? Less, there's the only thing you need. Oh, you poxy old salt. Spill what you know before we spill your guts. Seraphim. Romaro described you pointedly. He told me that you would come were you in danger. Danger? Nay, not I. But I do seek him, though. And I feel that he needs me. Feel it in the deep depths of my furry fun sack. If you care for him, you'll be telling me what you know. He bade me not tell anybody of his plans, ye included. He's left this area, a fear to the danger he fetches on those near to him. He's the nearest thing I got to kin. Why didn't he trust me? He did trust you. He trusted you wholly. I'll tell you, and trust you to go on best with to make of the conning. Romaro treated me as galleon for mine clipper. A stuggy trade, surely, but he insisted that he needed the speed. I can't tell you what he intends, but he set sail for Sayuka, intending to replenish there. That's everything I con, for whatever good it does you. He gave up the sorcerer? And for what? An elven clipper? Makes as much sense as Doug's on a Drake cap. He'd be easy catchings for any freebooter after his eye. Surely thinks he's protecting me. Stubborn as I seem, Captain Watcher. Romaro makes me look the dabbler. Yeah, that salty cockfoss be the biggest threat, sure as shit. But others will want that bouncy too. Not to mention a favor comes with it. Aye, oh, Cap, you've read my mind. And here with me thinking that were my skill in particular. Uh, thank you mightily, lass. Enjoy the baths. Soft travels. The wages of war catch ye up soon or sign. Would you care to enjoy the baths? My friend, you're a... Ahoy. If you be having a tick, Cap, I'll be thinking that, uh, if I be dragging you into these steps, you deserve the full sounding. When I were a wee swabby, fresh to the sea, it were Romaro that showed me the ropes and rigging. More than that, he, uh, kept his weather eye open for me. The sea be a right poxy oar on occasion, and life aboard the sorcerer, that and more. Malnash, our ship hunter, she were all, uh, wet and bothered for doing me harm, and Romaro. Uh, he protected me. Mentored me, too. Learned me letters and navigation. Handed down the Principe traditions. In time, we became close as kin or closer. And the sorcerer, my family. Why, Cap? You be feeling a bit of the old envy? Nay, we never shared a bunk. Not that I'd have kicked him out of a hammock, but, uh, like I said, we be family. He never took advantage. Well, only knows, Cap. She treated me like my mere presence gave offense. Was it your presence, I wonder, or an ill-timed remark about your furry blue nethers? And here with me thinking you weren't paying my nethers no mind at all. Right, fantastic fucking question, Cap. Uh, word out, we're mutiny. 
But I'd be putting about as much stock in that as a dockside doxy for manners. Well, now I don't normally be singing no praises of veracity, Cap. But in the matter of Romoro, I'll be hunting the truth. Eh, fair. He be of old Valian stock. A good man, and righteous. <laughs> Not honest, of course, but honorable. Were our shipboard saw bones, and more than half handy at it. More than one swabby be on the old salt at a furrow from the wheel. Thanks, Captain. I'll be holding you to it. Ahoy, Captain. What can I do you for? I was born ready. My friend, you return. Farewell and fair winds to you. Oh? Yes? It's been a while since I've been able to speak candidly with anyone, especially about the Leaden Key. It's unexpectedly liberating. As a matter of fact, I did. I saw my mother for the first time in years. She was well. I used to blame her for her long... He was an exacting man with a... I really... I used... Intentionally... Thank you. It felt... It was. Well, they seem largely competent. I would feel better about that were they not run by profiteers and animancers. Well, Governor Clario seemed honest and well-intentioned. So one wonders why he was stationed at such an out-of-the-way post. One would hardly imagine that a colossus made of glowing Ardra could be so hard to find. But then I suppose the gods wouldn't have chosen you if the task were easy. Happy to oblige. I'm all ears. Tell me what's on your mind. They're there in my head, but sometimes I can tell my folks. You might say they're not your typical Aethasians. Sure, they cling to the light more than the darkness. But the war, it touched my family. And it changed them. Killed some. Not that I remember firsthand. The others toughened, turned survivors. That much I saw with my own eyes, even years later. Of course. Though we're few and spread out. Most don't keep to temples. Soul shepherding requires travel. My aunt's the one who taught me about the cycle of life and death. How everything happens in stages. Whether forwards or backwards, from seed to rot to rebirth again, it's all just states of existence and balance. See? That's how I first learned about the slice of Gaon within Aethus. After that, I read all the doctrines of Gaon, anything and everything I could get my hands on. The Twelve Books of Nearwith, plus the epistles from the Minor Prophets, a lot of them aren't a part of today's canonization, but that doesn't mean they're wrong. It's tradition for the youngest born to take up the priesthood of Aethys. Well, I did it in my own way. No need to fiddle. Yeah. There's something I can do? I got time. What? Wonder what Pa's up to. Need something? Let's get a move on. I was born ready. Thank you. Have you tried the bathing pool? Oh, Kira, its waters allow you to absorb the powers of the I hope we haven't spent too day. much time in the baths. There's room enough for us all. I've already spoken to the steward. We're not to be disturbed. I am helping Herwina to conceive. She came all the way from the Deerwood, and I will see that she returns with arms laden with young. After the Holoborn crisis, I wanted no child of mine born in those blighted lands. This place is a miracle. Every day I emerge from the baths as a new woman, and my first child will be as strong as an Adra pillar. Is that true? Do not listen. Luminous Adra is the life of the Deadfire. It can bring life to you, I say. You are too morbid, my friend. 
The Adra Ganor uses has been blessed by the gods, and it is their blessing that empowers you. Is this your first time to the baths? Ah, the cost is high, but so are the delights. I might have the skin and bones of a retired scarecrow, but the waters bring youth back where it counts. Excuse me? I'm sorry. That was wrong. The waters have gone to my head. Sure, why not? What are you doing? Get out! You have the wrong room, stranger. Postenago, you have truly put your foot in it this time. No need to thank me. Postenago, you have truly put your foot in it this time. Thank you. 
knock. You're very... I've got magic fingers. I say, you look like someone who wants protection and a certain something about presence, Akira. Worry not. I can hammer any plate to fit the right size. Holler if any of the iron or steel laying around catches your fancy. Or if you need something repaired, I'm happy to take a glance. Akira, they wouldn't put a traditional smith here unless she brought something special. My clients wanted everything engraved and beautiful. Wasn't why I got into the business, but it keeps my debtors happy. I keep it interesting working with exotic materials like shark leather, since there's some demand and little supply. Akira, but these wonders have suffered greatly. I say you must take better care of your things. I say I could repair these to their working order for 1,500 pyres each. Something about the metal, it yearns to bond as one. I could join all these pieces into a great sword for 3,000 pyres. If you need iron or steel, maybe even something lighter. I've got plenty in stock. If you need iron or steel, maybe even the Kara, I will get started at once. Have a seat. This will take time. My friend, your handsome blade is restored. A good thing it was made of exceptional steel. Ah, uh, such a shame to see it go. But go it must. If you're ever in need of spare coin, I'd be I will get started at once. Kindly wait and I will be with you soon. Your unusual blade is restored. Akira, but I saw such strange visions in the light of the forge. Ah, no matter. It is for these moments that I labor, my friend. May you be satisfied with your strange metal. If you need iron or steel, Mikara, when you swing this beauty, you must make sure to tell your foes that Mahiri sent you. Whispers of the endless paths, a most brooding and gloomful weapon, I say. 
May it chop your enemies into fine pieces for the delight of Tongaloa. I'm honored to have the trust of such a fine customer. Do not hesitate to bring me another challenge. Akira, if you need iron or steel, maybe even some... I'm always willing. Razor's yours, crested swordfish. You need me. I'm always willing. I got this. Today's catch, I say. Fresh and hot, spice to the tongue of outsider and local alike. You look thirsty. A drink, sir? Quench your thirst on the way up the mountain? Spirits and the like? No one this side of the slope will scorn you for a little indulgence. Between us, folks tend to linger and spend coin in parikis when they've had a few. Good for business, I say. I don't give two pyres for your tribal pride, and I wager that Archimere cares even less. If this is what passes for Rao Tai and diplomacy, Razanui has bigger problems. If you've come to see Archimere, you're too late. He left the estate on wizard business. Archimere could be drinking koiki wine with dead kings. There's no finding him if he doesn't want to be found. The wizard got his hands on a Hawana tablet, the Harappo epic. I came to reclaim it for Rawatai. In the middle of my negotiations, this little pest showed up with a claim on it. The Harappo epic belongs to the Hawana. The queen sent me to remind you both.
I might as well adjourn to the palace in Serpent's Crown and give Archimer time to think. What a load of... You mean to get your hands on that tablet with or without Archimer? You island rats can barely write your own names, much less a distinguished epic. Scamper back to the Brass Citadel and spin your own plots. I will happily do the same on my side of the island. For me? I could use a reprieve. Ah, oh, these are frustrating times we live in. What say? Akira, I say the relevance of the Harapo epic can't be overstated. It could prove a touchstone for the Huana. It could even... Sorry, you go ahead. It is important to all who call the Dead Fire home. I only tell you this because I know you can be trusted. The epic is supposed to contain information on Hokkaizo. Nothing as dramatic as a set of coordinates. But anything helps. Stories are also important to the Huana. Much of who we are is still missing. The story could speak to the values and beliefs of our ancestors. The language structure, narrative voice, and use of metaphor can tell us something about the time of its inscription. We could even... Oh, I lost you, haven't I? Akira, I tend to go on. Akira, from the Journal of Rakua, an explorer who found the tablet on a remote island some 20 years ago. Unfortunately for Okua, the most we found of her was her journal among the flotsam of a shipwreck. They think the tablet can show them... Well... The way to Ukaizo. Akira, it's a mythical island, but that isn't stopping any of us from rushing to claim it first. Akira, the pleasure is mine. Did the Queen summon everyone to the palace? Akira, I've never seen Aruihi run so fast. Do you think the Audra Colossus would come here next? Pray to Kaopa, it does not. Yeah? What do you need, yeah? I got it. Eh, the sea is true home, not smelly mountain. What you want? Uh, m master, you... You not master. Why dress like him, eh? Disguise as powerful archmage? Eh, funny way to blend in. Eh, Archimir doesn't let worthless idiot outside after worthless idiot spray dung on stupid tablet. But Archimere not home. So worthless idiot watches the ships come in. Looks at all the tasty gulls. Eh, those Archimere's big words. Gave name, but worthless idiot no understand. Eh, that's so? Worthless idiot should ask Stinkfoot or Catbreath what they say. How often you beat your crew, huh? I join crew? I join crew! See why not? Spice? You spice? What? Me 
something? Bostinago, you have truly put your foot in it this time. Adolf Entry, you go to visit the luminous bathhouse, yes? My satchel. Like a fool, I left it inside. My ship is due to sail from Nekataka with the next high tide. If I do not find it, my casita will surely throw me overboard. Merla, I cannot swim. I would go by myself, but... Uh, the guards... They bar the doors to me without my casita present. They think I am a thief. No, of course not. Gelade, you mean it? Agrasima, Agrasima, I am in your debt. There is, uh... One thing, Madiko, how could I have forgotten? If you could, do not open the satchel. The contents are... The information is... proprietary. You understand? You do me a great favor. Please, when you find the satchel, Meet me at Peddler's Canal in Queen's Birth. Unless there's anything you need. Yeah, whatever you need. Have you tried the bathing pool? Oh, Kira, its waters allow you to absorb... Only because I like you. Ah. 
I've been dreaming about a priest that died, then rose again. What do you think that means? I see him walking Aora. Nothing but bones, lit by the flames of his soul. Takehu, you have shirked your duties for the last time, I say. Guildmaster, be reasonable. I skipped one lecture to travel up the mountain. Still, the palace is closed until you present me before Onikaza. You went alone. I asked for patience, but as usual, you make a trench out of a tide pool. My patience wears thin, old shark. You have stifled me enough for one trip through Rakuhu's bowels. I say Ngati weeps at her petulant spectacle of a child. For a water shaper who treasures his duty to the goddess, you spend too many days cavorting at the brothel. Ugh, insufferable. Did you need something? Or is it enough to bask in perfection? Kara, I bring art to the Guild of Water Shapers, but they do not tolerate expression here. What I am is to blame, I say. Just so. Blessed and cursed at birth, I say. Water shaping is Ngati's gift to the Huana, and apparently I am too. Savior to the tribes. <laughs> oh, the only question is, do I return to my duties, or while away a few hours in the bathhouse? The waters are fine, I say. Finer still with company. Harry company, your fur will never feel more lustrous. <laughs> Take no offense. Time alone is never wasted, I say. Well, through our connection to the gods, the Hoana mold water like it is clay, easing it into an assumed form. We could sink every ship in Rawatai's fleet if they drew too close to the city, but some of us have uh, gentler tastes. Some of us see water shaping for what it is, a gift of divine expression. Well, surely you have seen my works across Nekitaka. Well, look to the antechamber of the Kahanga Palace for my Apple of Ngati, or to the luminous bathhouse for my Dance of the Wanton Priestess. For as long as there have been Hoana, there have been water shapers. But only since Takehu has water shaping been art. Kara, I sent the prince a missive and heard nothing back. He is a busy warrior in a time of peace, I say. A watcher? And here I am used to being the freak of Pariki's overlook. What does a watcher do? Ikera, just so. I say I am no sailor, and I know even less about death. I am an artist. My peers do not understand. Water shaping to them is like studying calligraphy, to brew ink and sort parchment. The tide brings unexpected gifts. You are not unknown to me, I say. Whispers of an Adra Colossus reach my ears. 
and louder whispers of a corpse who follows him. What will you do when you catch up to this walking god? I would command the ocean herself to drag him to the bottom of a lightless trench. If it untangles me from the guild's apron strings, then you can mount me as the figurehead of your fair ship. Our quarters may smell a fish before long, but your crew will be more beautiful by association, I say. Fish smell would be an improvement. <laughs> Glad to have you. Lead on. It will be good to put some distance between myself and the guild, even if we find less savory places along the way. A fair warning, Captain. Ingati gifted her favorite son with more than his stunning complexion. Good guess. Only for as long as... well... I say you will learn. In time.
The light will guide me. If you want for company, look no further. Yeah, only because I like you. Damn it, TK, who? Why? I almost had it that time. Not even close. If you want to achieve the second form, you will need to loosen that posture. Spending a day submerged in the bathhouse always helped me. Did you need something? I can feel the connection to Andre just like Myru taught me. But there's something missing. Maybe it's my form. Remain loose, but not too loose. Confine yourself, but spread out at all times. Like this? Perfect. Keep at it and you'll be teaching me the fourth form in no time. Suppose I'll give anything a try. You have questions for me. Speak up, I say. Ikira, my pleasure. Water shaping is a talent bestowed on the Juana by the goddess Ngati. Hariki was the first in recent memory to organize the talent into a series of teachable forms. What else would you like to know? We control tides, prevent storm damage, and keep unwelcome ships at bay. Of course, you already know Takehu, our prized pupil. We represent the best of Juana achievement, no small responsibility. Our art is the yield of the Juana's ancient covenant with the goddess. Our ancestors pledged to protect the luminous Adra, the islands, and the tribes. Ngati gifted us with the strength to keep our promise. Akira. The sanctum is looking wetter than usual, I say.
found. Spies? But say, friend, the Guild Sanctum has seen better days. Simply a caretaker. I dust off Pariki's tomb and try to keep the place tidy. Caring for the Guild Hall usually means drying off what others get wet in practice. Ikira. One of <laughs> middling skill, if I am generous. Not all of us can boast of Takehu's talent. But Nagati touches us differently, I say. The Guild didn't used to allow outsiders the freedom of our halls. Ikira. But how times change. A sanctum for master water shapers, I say. No students or outsiders allowed. I have never been there myself. Myru assures me the room has no need of cleaning. Just keep this our little secret. My Watch body is all yours. This is the tomb of Periki. Such disrepair, I say. I'm off, I guess.
You need something. At your service. Yes, Captain. What say? That will do, I say. Knock, knock. Look what I found. No need to thank me. I'm all sure thing. You have my attention. Let's do this. That's easy. Thinking. Sure. Let's do this. If you find yourself in need of comfortable garb, I'm happy to oblige. Still find that robe to your liking? Doesn't chafe your scales none? Akira, you are a wizard with bark cloth. I was the envy of the guild. Well, it helps me when Ngati's prize whelp is a walking endorsement. I've been known to rip a seam here and there, patch some shredded gear back into shape. Thought I was an armorer, did you? Assume that my tree stump limbs and barrel chest lend themselves better to the forge than the needle? Ah, that'll teach my idiot mouth. I won't make assumptions about you making assumptions, okay? If it's armor you're after, Marihi will set you up. She's got a knack for metal. I was born ready. You don't want them to see me? Spice, you spice? You want me to do what? See anything of interest? 